Good evening, and welcome to our 2028 presidential election coverage. Tonight, we have Joseph Brosnahan of Tennessee, who has built a coalition not seen since the likes of Bill Clinton, comprising of many centrist white voters. Meanwhile, he is against Barron Trump, son of former President Donald Trump. These two candidates are only able to run since the constitutional age when the president was lowered to 20. And before I get started on the rest of the election night, thank you to Joseph Brosnahan for making the, this slideshow. Here is the 2024 presidential election map with Joe Biden and Tom Cotton. This was certainly an interesting election as Joe Biden managed to flip both Iowa and Missouri. Meanwhile, he lost Virginia, Georgia, and New Hampshire. This was certainly not expected by many, but still Biden won nonetheless. And here are poll closings from 7 p.m., including Georgia, South Carolina, Virginia, Vermont, Indiana, and Kentucky. Indiana's 11 electoral votes will go to Barron Trump. Meanwhile, Kentucky's eight electoral votes will also go to Barron Trump, and Vermont will easily go to Joseph Brosnahan. And Georgia is currently too early to call. Virginia, 13 electoral votes is too close to call. And South Carolina, another state too close to call. And here is the county map for Virginia. As you can see, not a lot is in, only 11%. Currently, it is tied in the vote count, and 4,000 votes actually separate the two candidates. And here is the current map, as you can see, three states are too close to call, Brosnahan has one, and Trump has two. And we have a 7.30 p.m. poll closings. We can project West Virginia's four electoral votes towards Barron Trump. And here is the current Ohio map. Joseph Brosnahan has a narrow lead of about 400,000 votes. And as you can see, not much of the vote is in, only 5%. And North Carolina, another 5% in difference is really about five votes very very narrow and here is the updated map as you can see we've added north carolina and ohio to the too close to call column and west virginia to baron trump's column and here are 8 p.m poll closings from a large batch of states and here is the extended list and finally oklahoma and oklahoma's seven electoral votes would go to baron trump same thing with mississippi's six electoral votes and alabama's nine Illinois' 19 electoral votes go to Brosnahan, and Maine's 4 electoral votes will all go to Joseph Brosnahan. Quite a surprise, but he did very well with many of the centrist blue-collar voters. And Missouri's 10 electoral votes are too early to call. Pennsylvania, here you can see about 64% in. This is the current county map. It is pretty close between the two candidates, but Barron Trump has the lead. And Virginia's 13 electoral votes we can now project towards Joseph Brosnahan. And in Tennessee, this is Joseph Brosnahan's home state, he's doing very, very well here, as you can see, particularly in rural counties that have not gone to the Democrats in a long time. And in Florida, another very close state, as you can see, Joseph Brosnahan is doing very well in Miami-Dade County. And in New Hampshire, it is too early to call. And in Massachusetts, we can project its electoral votes towards Brosnahan. And Maryland, 10 electoral votes towards Brosnahan. And New Jersey, 14 electoral votes towards Joseph Brosnahan. In Delaware, three electoral votes will go to the Democrats. And in Rhode Island, four electoral votes will also go to the Democrats. And Connecticut will go blue yet again. And DC, the most liberal part of the country, three electoral votes. And here is the current map. Joseph Brosnahan has taken a lead of 90 electoral votes to Donald, sorry, Barron Trump's 54. Meanwhile, Brosnahan has flipped Virginia back to the Democrats, a major accomplishment. And here are 8.30 p.m. poll closings out of Arkansas. Arkansas will easily give its electoral votes to Barron Trump. And here is the updated map. As you can see, only Arkansas is filled in. And here is the 9 p.m. poll closings. It is quite an extended list, as you can see. Louisiana's eight electoral votes will go to Barron Trump. And Nebraska's five electoral votes will go to Barron Trump. And North Dakota's three alongside South Dakota's three. Kansas will give its six electoral votes to Barron Trump. And Wyoming, three electoral votes towards Barron Trump. Georgia, it will actually give its 16 electoral votes to Barron Trump. This is a hold from 2024 and a much needed state to win for Barron Trump. And here is the vote out of Texas. As you can see, Joseph Brosnahan is doing very, very well, especially in the Rio Grande Valley and in Dallas County, Tarrant County, and in their surrounding suburbs. And here is the vote out of Michigan. As you can see, another lead for Brosnahan of about 12, uh, 11% actually. He's doing particularly well with white voters. And in Wisconsin, same thing, Brosnahan doing very well in the Driftless regions, and he's doing very well in Door County, which is a bellwether. 
And in Arizona, another strong performance from Brosnahan. He's doing very well in many of the traditional Democratic areas and in some of the rural counties. In Tennessee, we can project Joseph Brosnahan's home state will go to him. This is not a surprise. He's quite popular there and did very well with the rural Democrats. But this, this is still a flip from 2024. And in New Hampshire, another flip from 2024, Brosnahan will carry its four electoral votes. And in New York, 28 electoral votes is a hold from 2024. No surprise here, it will go blue yet again. And Minnesota, 10 electoral votes towards Brosnahan. And Colorado, another 10 electoral votes towards Brosnahan. In New Mexico, five electoral votes will go blue. And here is the current map. Joseph Brosnahan has a 55 electoral vote lead. As you can see, he has built a solid coalition across the country. And here are 10 p.m. poll closings out of Montana, Utah, Iowa, and Idaho. Montana's three electoral votes will go to Barron Trump, and Idaho's four electoral votes will go to Barron Trump. Meanwhile, Utah's six electoral votes will go red yet again, and in Iowa, it is too close to call a 12-vote difference. Joseph Brosnahan taking back some of the Obama coalition of those white rural farmer votes. In Missouri, 10 electoral votes will go to Barron Trump. This is a flip from 2024. Joseph Brosnahan did very well in many rural states, but did not do well enough in Missouri to win. And here is the current map. Joseph Brosnahan has not gained any electoral votes, but Barron Trump is now at 128. And here are 11 p.m. poll closings out of California, Oregon, Washington, and Hawaii. And California will easily give its electoral votes to Joseph Brosnahan, one of the bluest states in the country. And Oregon's 8 electoral votes would go to Brosnahan. Same thing with Washington's 12 and Hawaii's 4. And in Nevada, here is the current county map. So Barron Trump is doing very well. He is currently carrying Washoe County, the only other swing county. While Joseph Brosnahan is doing decently in Clark County. But we expect Brosnahan to pick up his pace in the rural areas and potentially win the state in the end. And here is the current map. Joseph Brosnahan is at 237, a mere 33 electoral votes away from victory. Meanwhile, Barron Trump is much farther behind, only at 128 electoral votes. And here are some state calls out of Iowa and Texas. Iowa will give its six electoral votes to Joseph Brosnahan. This is a hold from 2024, and it was much needed for a Brosnahan victory, showing his strength with the white working class. Meanwhile, Texas, another gain for Brosnahan. He will flip the state to the Democrats for the first time since 1976. And Joseph Brosnahan has been elected president with 283 electoral votes after winning Iowa and Texas. So here we can project that Joseph Brosnahan has been elected the 47th president of the United States, a major accomplishment for the Democrats. They have now held the White House for eight years and will add another four years consecutively for them holding again holding the White House. This is a big win for the Democrats and a big win for Brosnahan. And here are the poll closings out of Alaska. We can project that it's actually too close to call. Joseph Brosnahan doing very, very well in the rural areas much better than Joe Biden did. Barron Trump is lagging behind significantly. And Michigan's 15 electoral votes we can now project will go blue. And in Ohio, Barron Trump will win at 17 electoral votes. And here is the current map. 298 for Brosnahan, 145 for Barron Trump. And we have a state call out of Alaska. And it is actually uh, will go blue very, very narrowly after Joseph Brosnahan had an exceptional performance in the rural areas, Barron Trump lagged behind in those same rural areas and did very poorly in the traditionally Republican areas. Brosnahan will narrowly win the state. And as you can see, this is actually a flip from 2024 and it brings Brosnahan's total up to 301. And we have state calls out of Pennsylvania, Wisconsin, North Carolina, and Florida. Wisconsin will give its 10 electoral votes towards Joseph Brosnahan. Same thing out of Pennsylvania, but it's 19 electoral votes, a bigger win. And in Florida, this is a gain for Brosnahan, who's doing very well early on, and he kept up that lead. And in North Carolina, this is one of Barron Trump's few wins out of the swing states tonight, 16 electoral votes towards the Trump son. And here is the current map, 360 for Joseph Brosnahan, and Barron Trump is just under 300, or sorry, 200 electoral votes behind. We currently have two states left to call, Nevada and Arizona. And we have state calls for those two states just mentioned. We can project Arizona's 11 electoral votes towards Joseph Brosnahan. And we can also project Nevada's six uh, electoral votes towards Joseph Brosnahan. These states will stay blue. 
And here is the final map. Joseph Braz in hand doing very, very well. Beating out Baron Trump by about 216 electoral votes. Uh, Joseph Brosnahan flipped both Alaska, Texas, Tennessee, Florida, Virginia, and New Hampshire. Meanwhile, Baron Trump only narrowly flipped Missouri. Uh, Brosnahan also held on to many key Democratic areas, including Arizona, Nevada, Iowa, and much of the Rust Belt, like Wisconsin, Michigan, and Pennsylvania. And there we have it. Thank you everyone for watching. This was definitely not one of my usual election nights, but it was pretty fun to do anyway. Again, thanks to Joseph Brosnahan for making this. It was definitely one of the most fun I've ever uh, done. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like. You can subscribe for more content such as this. Hit the post notification bell so you can be near, uh, uh, alerted every time I post a video. Meanwhile, you can also comment what you thought of this video in the comment section down below. Check out the description for any useful links and join my Discord server. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you all next time.